On March the 18th, 109 empty baby carriages were placed in the central square of Lviv. That's the number of Ukrainian children that have died since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The social action was called the price of war. Strollers, according to the organizers, are the symbols of those children who will not become adults due to Russian armed aggression. The message from the organizers reads, 109 children have become angels and now, instead of decisive actions of the world, they protect the skies of Ukraine. This figure does not take into account the losses in Mariupol, which is constantly under fire. The number of deaths increases daily due to genocide committed by the enemy against Ukrainians. In Mariupol, work is underway to dismantle the rubble of the drama theater where people were hiding. This was announced by the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky. Rescue work continues at the site of the bombing of the theater by the occupiers, where Mariupol residents were hiding from shelling, using it as a shelter. It is known that more than 130 people have been rescued so far, but hundreds of Mariupol residents are still under the rubble. Despite the shelling, despite all the difficulties, we will continue rescue work. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion, the occupying forces have destroyed 464 schools. 64 buildings are not subject to restoration. This was announced by the head of the Verkhovna Rada Committee on Education, Science and Innovation, Sergei Babak. In particular, 24 educational institutions have been damaged and one destroyed in the last 24 hours. Kharkiv Mayor Ihor Tarakhov appealed to colleagues around the world to influence their own governments and close the skies over Ukraine. According to him, more than 700 buildings in the city have already been destroyed. The city of Kharkiv is totally destroyed. Today, 708 buildings have been destroyed in the city of Kharkiv, mostly more than 600 high-rise residential buildings destroyed in Kharkiv. People are left without a roof over their heads. We place everyone in schools, kindergartens, but Russian troops are bombing schools and kindergartens. More than 60 schools and kindergartens are completely destroyed today. Peaceful people are dying. What else can we expect from the European world community to close the skies over Ukraine? Humanitarian aid was brought to Mykolaiv from Lviv. That's 20 tons of food for stray cats. The curator of homeless animals in the city, Alina Stasiuk, told that there are hundreds of homeless animals in Mykolaiv and the region. And since the beginning of war, their number has increased many times. People leave their homes with their pets, who eventually end up on the streets. Conscienceless owners mostly refuse, because the people we go to tell me, I haven't left because I have a lot of animals. My family and I also haven't fled. We have a lot of animals and it's impossible to transport them. So we stayed with them and we help everyone else. Those who feed cats in nine-story buildings have from 30 to 50 animals on the street. And in Odessa there is a racetrack where 135 horses live. There's animal feed left for a month and a half. The director of the racetrack, Kostantin Savchits, said that due to problems with logistics and the operation of factories, the usual delivery of food for horses is currently impossible. Stocks are replenished with volunteers. Horses are fed mainly oats, hay and porridge. It is made from a mixture of barley, bran and other cereals. We stocked up on food before the war. We have enough hay for the next harvest. We have oats for a month or month and a half. I thank volunteers. They help. Someone brings carrots. The others bring apples. Apples and carrots are like vitamins for a horse. The main food is oats, hay. And it's like you buy yourself candies, treats, and for the horse it's just the same.